Here is a video request about living in the van. So he goes, I own a rental property that I will pay off this year, and I'm also saving up money for emergencies. I'll have $498 bucks a month uh, income from the rental property. That will be my only income unless the YouTube thing really takes off. Not enough views yet. By the way, I'm vegetarian and plan to cook rice, beans, and grow sprouts, so food will be cheap. So my question for you is what kinds of lifestyle adventure can a guy have on 48 a month? I have thought of bicycle touring in the U.S. first and then other countries or living in a van or living in Thailand or somewhere where rent is cheap. Um, I even thought of the Forrest Gump thing. <laughs> Running across America. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you have any bike touring? You, did, you didn't even write bike touring. Um, do you have any other ideas? All the things I listed realistic on 40 a month. How much um, emergency fund do you think you need? Uh, these are the other options. Next video request. Can you please talk about your favorite types of cheese? Whoops, sorry, that was another video request. All right, so yeah. So yeah, you're gonna rent out your rental property. Um, so, uh, so yeah, assuming that's how much money you're gonna be getting a month. Um, you could live like a king on that much. I'm um, doing lots of different things. Um, if you wanted to live out of a van and you wanted to, like, uh, I don't know, have like luxury stuff around you, like books and stuff to read and a computer to work on, you know, you could uh, you could go in, into into some bumfuck nowhere somewhere, like on the edge of Lake Powell, um, on a nice beach somewhere, you know, bring a little canoe with you, and just live there for months at a time, and then your money could accrue and you could actually make money. Um, and you'd only spend like a hundred bucks a month or less, you know, on the food. That's if you're disciplined enough to not go back into town and stay stay there. Uh, or, you know, or you could park um, somewhere, I don't know, next to some lake, you know, off in the, in the middle of nowhere, you know, some forest somewhere. And spend there a bunch of time there. That's a good way to not spend anything. If you want to be in, in cities, that's a great fun thing to do is check out cities. Just park in one place and then you ride your bike around. You wouldn't spend anything on 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 bike on on, um, on food. See if you're if you're good enough, and I'm not. I was never this good enough. I was probably around like that at a few points, but see, I never got to the point where I was actually recording how much money I was spending exactly. I mean, I was gonna do that, but my car broke down, and I I would have been under. I could have been under four eighty a month for sure, and I wasn't that much above that much. Maybe I was around that much, but yeah. You know, it just depends on who you are. If you're dedicated enough, you can do it off 40 a month, you know. I've been spending less than that here in my apartment on food. And it's all about how much money you spend on food, you know. It, it adds up if you buy a bunch of candy every day, five bucks of candy, you know, a day because you get the munchies or whatever. That's going to, that's like your rent money right there. Um, so what, how much cushion would you want? I would say at least $10,000, whether it's your parents have that much money or you have a credit couple of credit cards or uh, you have that much cash um, but I would say about 10,000 is what you would want um, and I wouldn't start traveling unless you had some something to fall back on you know uh, you know that's that's like if you wanted to travel you know like I'm thinking like if your engine blows and you have to get it replaced or whatever but it depends on who you can fall back on you know if you can always fall back on somebody you don't need anything you know, you can borrow money from them, move back into your parents or whatever, and then pay it back. But, uh, but I mean, if I were you, I'd save up at least 5000 at least $5,000 before you go traveling, you know? You sound young. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, you know, get all rushed, like you have to go traveling now. Save up some money, you know? And that way, you won't, there won't be any money stress, and it'll just be you trying, and then you can, and then, you know, you'll really appreciate it if you worked a while for it you really appreciate your actual um trip while you're doing it and but you would have the money so you know you could keep doing it and you wouldn't you wouldn't your five thousand or whatever wouldn't be going down at all you could be doing 40 a month if you were disciplined enough the problem is if you're young and you have that money you're going to spend it up on you know you're going to find a way so uh that'd be a cool thing to document um, so other ideas, well, if you wanted to go even cheaper and more hardcore, you could bike tour. Like, you could just be a nomad bike tourist. I would love to do that. That'd be awesome to do one day. Just like, you know, well, actually I did that in 2010 through Europe, but that'd be cool to do that in America. Because um, food, 
you know, even if you're eating like 5,000 calories a day because you're riding your bike like 200 miles a day, it doesn't have to be that expensive if, if all you're eating is canned fruit and vegetables, you know. Um, just go to the supermarket, crack it open, and drink it right out of the can, throw it, not your food, you know, just have like five cans, you know, a couple of beans, and then that's your, that, and then you're bloated, and that's your meal, and that was like three dollars, you know, 69 cents a can, it's like three bucks. Depends on who you are and how, how disciplined you are. Um, so other ideas, <laughs> Forrest Gump thing, run across America, that would drive me up the wall. Unless I was like, it was like a trail, a single track trail, like the mountains the whole time. Oh my God. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Um, don't rollerblade though, because when your legs are sticking out and you get run over by a car, only if, only if you can do it on a bike path. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Uh, have fun. Oh, and YouTube. You have YouTube videos, huh? Yeah, man. You can make money with YouTube videos. If you, if you know, if you have, if you like, find a niche or whatever. Just, as far as advice for that, just be yourself and be prolific. Those are the two rules. Be yourself and be prolific. <laughs> All right, peace out.